We've got a DJ booth, which is super exciting. So we've decided if we're going to do something, we want to collaborate with people who have a, a same ethos as us based upon quality, design, style, things like that. So Nicholas Dixon's an artist, a friend that I've known for a long number of years uh, from the clubbing scene and everything. And we've sort of grown together as Nicholas has grown with his shapes and his abstract art. Master Sam's has grown from turntable weights for everything else. So it started about four years ago now, I think. We did some of the, the, uh, the turntable works when we were prepared earlier. So I had this, an exhibition coming up in uh, the Trinity. I'd met Russ by that point from a decodo when I was doing a friend's, knowing Mills, his, uh, his wonderful renovation at his orangery at his house. Painted the full orangery, lived there for like five weeks, and uh, he bought an Ido Kodo booth, and that's when I met Russ. He came and set it up when I was just sort of finishing off. You know, put the idea out there, you know, we should do a collaboration, uh, but it was just waiting for the right, the right time. Spoke to Ryan, spoke to Russ. Russ had this prototype installed. He got it to me. I actually painted it in one of the units at Trinity, and it took yeah, it took a while to paint it. So there's a lot of nooks and crannies, and the boo that, as you can sort of see, it splits up into different sections. All these five plates come off, and the ends detach from each other. And what a what a wonderful sort of place to showcase it at this uh, amazing event of uh, Master Sounds and Ryan, so very happy with everything, how it's turned out. And then Russ Adekodo, he's producing beautifully crafted DJ booths. Russ has a, an amazing background in manufacturing and design for very high quality products. So Idacoto was born out of a, a long-term friendship with a colleague of mine who's a DJ. Uh, he wanted a bespoke uh, DJ booth and I work for a joinery company. So between us we come together and thought it'd be a good idea to, to make something bespoke for him. And during that process it became quite obvious that there was not anything on the market that was modular or upgradable. So we started in 2017 with a pretty basic booth which sort of got us off the, off the starting line. And, and then from there we've, we've evolved. Um, I'd been in touch with Ryan for bits and pieces for some help and coordination and to borrow some equipment and I think Ryan put me in touch with uh, Nick. I think Nick was looking for a project of building something different uh, as Nick does uh, in terms of building a bespoke booth for him that he could paint. So yeah, it's great to be involved with both Master Sounds and, and, and Nicholas and yeah, it's fantastic. So what better thing to do than to have a collaboration of music, design and manufacturing? 